Hello folks, Abfielder here coming at you with another Minecraft tutorial and today I am starting a series on Lightmatica. Lightmatica is one of my favourite Minecraft mods. It's a way that you can import a schematic, a plan of a build and then use that to build up either in your creative world or your survival world. And I've done a Lightmatica video before, it's a copy and paste video, how to copy a build from your survival world into your creative world really really useful mod and that got me thinking I'd love to do a few more of these type of videos and show you how to use like Master and get a really good experience with it. Today then folks what I'm planning on doing is showing you how to import a schematic. I would call this the most basic thing that you will want to do in Lightmatica but it is super handy to know how to do it and it's not going to take us long to cover off. Before we do that though folks, just a reminder, if you are enjoying the content then please hit that subscribe button down the bottom right hand corner. I would really appreciate that, around about 83% of the views in the last 28 days are from people that aren't subscribed to my channel. And I'm doing what I like to think is some very very good fun let's play content on the Strangecraft server and there are some screenshots of the builds that I have been working on and will be continuing to work on throughout season 2 of that series. Anyway folks, that's enough of the begging. Let's get on with the tutorial. Step one then folks is to get a schematic and I'm assuming you're going to download one from your favorite YouTube content creator. Just a hint here, there's a few on my channels if you want them. Anyway folks, once you've downloaded that what you'll have is this .lightmatic file and we now need to get that into the correct directory and I am doing this from a perspective that you are playing on Windows. Okay then, so first off you need to left click on your file, right click on it and hit that copy button. Now we need to go to the correct directory in which we want to paste that file and there's a little bit of a shortcut that you can use to get to this directory. So if you go into your address bar and you type in percent app data percent backslash and it's the dot minecraft unless you have changed this and then it's backslash and then it's schematics. If you do that then that will take you straight to that folder it means you haven't got to type in a whole bunch of extra stuff and then you can simply right click and paste your file into that directory. As you can see I've already got a bunch here and that is basically it for importing. I will now open minecraft and show you how to load it into your world. Okay then with the minecraft world open hit the M key for mic then we want to load schematics. I'm in the wrong folder here, so I'm going to go back up one level. You can organize them into folders. Click on stem farm v4, and then in the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to hit that load schematic button. I'll hit the escape button to just get back out of that menu. And there we have it. We have loaded the schematic into our world. We're actually in a creative world, but those same steps will work in a survival world. Important to note, this is not a solid structure. These blocks are not actually placed in the world. We will go into Lightmatica in more depth in a future episode. One last little tip folks, that will all work with an NBT file as well. You'll get a little bit of a warning prompt when you do that last step in the world, but it will work. Anyway folks, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As I said, if you did enjoy it, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate that folks. Anyway, I'm Abfielder, that's all I've got time for. Goodbye.